Do not worry, do not be anxious. These are not easy words. Sometimes, depending on our circumstances, they just appear impossible. The coronavirus has inconvenienced most people, but this virus has also troubled and scared and, and deeply scarred many people. We are worried, anxious about contracting COVID-19, but maybe even more, I think even more, we are worried, we're troubled about the fallout of what, these, what this virus will do to our bottom line. That is, the bank account, the retirement funds, will this crisis cut deeply or will we financially be, be able to recover in time? I know several people who have been laid off unemployed for the first time, and they have, they have said to me, this is so disconcerting. I know a few people who's, who've had to put their dreams on hold, or, or worse, due to this economy that just seems to be in free fall. Some folks aren't worried about a, a little setback. Some are concerned about basic necessities of life, uh, paying the mortgage, keeping that business afloat, putting food on the table, even being able to sleep at night. For those I've been describing, the scriptures test us. The words, do not worry nor be anxious, you know, they don't seem to be a challenge, they seem ridiculous. An AARP bulletin I have not subscribed, however. A bulletin reader uh, asked uh, to respond to this question. So what's your strategy for coping with stress? The answers range from eating a chocolate chip cookie to a stiff drink. But Don Bentz from Minnesota offered his unique solution. He said this, every January 1st, I give my wife a 20 and she worries about everything for both of us. But that's not entirely the plan. Bentz adds, if someone else, if, if you, want to be worry-free, you can also send my wife a 20. Verses 24 and 27 begin with a simple word that is, I believe, of substance as I talk about Luke 12. The word is this, consider. To consider is to, to give thoughtful care. Give careful thought. Consider the birds. Consider the flowers. Give careful thought about God's natural world. The bird is fed. The flower is clothed. The necessities are there. God provides. It is believed that Jesus is encouraging his followers to step back and give careful thought to God's creatures, of which you and I are one. Consider the birds, the lilies, the bluebirds, the wildflower. They are beautifully clothed, awe-inspiring, but they are nothing in comparison to you and to me. See, here's where faith comes in. What does Scripture say of you and me? That we are created a little lower than the angels. That we are made in the image of God. That God sent His Son for us. How much, how much more of value are we? From commentary, it reads, Jesus is not saying that we should be unconcerned about the quality of what we eat. His concern is that we worry too much about whether we will eat anything at all. And like he's not saying we should be, we should be unconcerned with what we wear. His concern is that we worry too much about whether we will have anything to wear or any place to live. Worry was not, worry was not discovered yesterday when the pandemic hit. No, worry is older than you and I. Worry is here to stay. Therefore, may we all consider, give careful thought to worry and to anxiety in the coming days. Dailyverse.com says this, To embrace worry is to cast doubt on God's promises and provisions for you and for me. Faith in God. Trust in God's Word. 
These are the foundational principles that flood Scripture from beginning to end. The Bible instructs to fear not, have faith, cast our burden on God. Christian author Jill Briscoe said these words, I like them. We can worry or we can worship. That in worship, by prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, let our requests be made known to God and the peace of God will come. In closing, I hope we can take heart in the words of Jeremiah, Jeremiah who faced incredible hardships himself. He says this, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. For he is like a tree planted by the water that extends its roots by the stream. He will not fear when the heat comes, but its leaves will be green and it will not be anxious in a year of drought. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, of what you will eat or what you will wear, but instead worship, seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you.